The Solid State Revolution, Toyota's Billion Dollar Gamble. Toyota's billion dollar gamble in the high stakes poker game of electric vehicles. Toyota just pushed all of its chips to the center of the table. 745 miles of range, 10 minute charging, batteries that cost half as much and last twice as long. This isn't some startup's pipe dream or a researcher's white paper. This is Toyota's solid state battery and they're betting $13.6 billion. It'll be on the road by 2027. 745 miles isn't just good, it's nearly double the range of the current EV champion, the Lucid Air. It's New York to Chicago without breaking a sweat. But here's where it gets really interesting. Toyota isn't just aiming for better performance. They're targeting a 50% cost reduction compared to current lithium-ion tech. In an industry where battery packs can make up 30% of a vehicle's cost, that's not just an improvement, it's a potential extinction-level event for the competition. Now, you might be thinking, sure, but we've heard these promises before. And fair point, the EV landscape is littered with the corpses of overhyped breakthroughs. But this is Toyota we're talking about, the company that brought us the Prius and perfected hybrid technology. When they make a move this big, the entire industry feels the tremors. So what's the secret sauce? It's in the name. Solid state. Current lithium ion batteries use a liquid electrolyte to shuttle ions between electrodes. It works, but it's like trying to swim through molasses. Solid state replaces that liquid with a solid material. The result? Faster ion movement, higher energy density, and improved safety. No more battery fire nightmares. Let's get technical for a moment. Toyota is likely using a sulfide-based solid electrolyte. Think materials like lithium, germanium, phosphorus sulfide, or lithium sulfide solid electrolyte. Don't worry about memorizing those chemical formulas. What matters is that they allow for incredibly fast lithium ion movement. We're talking on ionic conductivity, an order of magnitude higher than liquid electrolytes. On the cathode side, expect a high nickel composition, possibly NCM811, 80% nickel, 10% cobalt, 10% manganese, or even 90% nickel. This allows for greater energy density. The anode, likely lithium metal, offering theoretical capacities up to 10 times higher than conventional graphite anodes. One of the biggest hurdles Toyota has reportedly overcome is dendrite formation. Tiny needle-like structures that can grow from the anode and short-circuit the battery. Their solution likely involves precise control of the solid electrolyte interface the SEI layer. The manufacturing process itself will be a radical departure from current methods. Instead of winding electrodes and separators into cylindrical or prismatic cells, we're looking at techniques more akin to semiconductor production. Think deposition of nanometer-thick layers in highly controlled environments. Less burrito, more layer cake. Now let's talk numbers. The global EV market is projected to hit 40 million annual sales by 2030, with a total market value approaching $1 trillion. If Toyota brings solid state to market at scale, they could capture a massive slice of that pie. Even a 10% market share would mean 4 million vehicles, more than Toyota's entire global sales in 2021. Solid state isn't just about cars. This tech could revolutionize energy storage for renewables, consumer electronics, even aerospace. We're talking about a total addressable market in the trillions. Toyota is not just building a better car. They're potentially reshaping entire industries. Of course, challenges remain. Scaling up production of solid-state batteries is notoriously tricky. The materials are finicky, sensitive to moisture and oxygen. One wrong move and the whole thing collapses. Toyota, though, isn't backing down. They filed over 8,000 solid-state battery patents in the last three years alone. That's not just throwing darts at a board. That's a coordinated, all-out assault on the problem. They've also partnered with Japanese oil refiner Idemitsu Kasan to scale up production, focusing on sulfide solid electrolytes, potentially the key to mass manufacturing. If Toyota can reduce or eliminate the need for cobalt and other conflict materials, it could reshape global supply chains and potentially ease tensions around critical battery materials. It's not just about better cars, it's about redrawing the map of global resource politics.
If they can deliver, it could mark the beginning of the end for internal combustion engines and current EV battery technology alike. We might look back on this as the moment when electric vehicles truly came of age, surpassing their gas-guzzling ancestors in every meaningful metric. Let's consider some potential scenarios. If Toyota succeeds, they could dominate the EV market, potentially becoming the world's most valuable company. Tesla and other EV-focused companies could see their valuations plummet unless they can quickly catch up. If Toyota delivers, but later than promised, the stock might see a short-term hit, but long-term prospects remain strong. Competitors would gain time to develop their own solutions. If technological hurdles prove insurmountable, it would be a significant setback for Toyota, potentially costing them their leadership position in the auto industry. Other technologies like advanced lithium ion or sodium ion batteries might fill that gap. And if multiple companies succeed simultaneously, well, we could see a boom for consumers as competition drives innovation and lowers prices. The auto industry would undergo rapid transformation. The stakes couldn't be higher. We're not just talking about the future of one company or even one industry. This is about the future of energy storage and transportation writ large. It's about reshaping our cities, our power grids, and our relationship with energy. For investors, this presents both enormous opportunities and significant risks. Toyota, as a diversified automaker, offers a relatively safe way to bet on solid-state tech. Pure play companies like QuantumScape offer higher potential returns, but with much greater risk. Their success or failure hinges entirely on the viability of their solid-state technology. For the broader market, keep an eye on battery material companies. If solid-state takes off, we could see a shift away from current battery metals like cobalt and nickel. Companies mining lithium and sulfur might become hot commodities. Also, watch the traditional auto parts sector. Companies heavily invested in internal combustion engine components could face serious headwinds if solid-state accelerates EV adoption. On the flip side, companies involved in power grid infrastructure and charging networks could see a boost. Faster charging and longer ranges could drive demand for high-power charging stations and smarter grid management systems. In conclusion, Toyota's solid-state battery initiative isn't just another product development. It's a potential paradigm shift for the entire energy and transportation sector. The company that perfects this technology won't just dominate the automotive industry. They'll hold the keys to powering our entire world. The race is on. The stakes are astronomical. And Toyota has just taken the lead. So buckle up, folks. The next few years are going to be one hell of a ride. The EV revolution is about to hit hyperdrive. And solid-state batteries are the nitrous boost. Welcome to the future. It's going to be electrifying.